Tim Joyce has more on the NOAA Northwest Fisheries Science Center bringing ocean research to the shores of Mukilteo. Tim, hi. Hi there, yeah. Uh, no, despite the appearances, it looks either like a prison or a haunted house, but I can assure you that it is actually neither here along the shorelines of Puget Sound, not even in an abandoned building. And in fact, inside this building is some cutting edge research about our warming world and our oceans that are changing chemi chemically as well. It looks run down from the outside. It is challenging to kind of do the research in our in our current facility. Even some parts are rusting away in the salty marine air here at the NOAA Northwest Fisheries Research Center. We're trying to understand the mechanisms behind how global change is going to influence our local marine resources and resources along the West Coast. Station Chief Paul McElhaney showed us around their small waterfront research facility. Being able to pump water from Puget Sound is essential to what we're doing. And this former World War II Air Force barracks turned Marine Research Center in the 1970s does look pretty dilapidated inside too. This building is um, not in the best shape, right. but some of the science facilities that are in here are some of the top in the world. The essential work that goes on here aims to find out how changing ocean conditions will affect some of the most valuable fisheries to humans like Dungeness crab and these organisms, some of the most important to the food chain, the dark loving krill who thrive in the deep waters in the day and feed on phytoplankton near the surface at night. What we're really interested in is how marine resources are going to be influenced by ocean change, ocean acidification, ocean warming and the loss of oxygen from the world's oceans. Their labs create future environments that they think will exist in the next several decades, more acidic oceans with more ocean heat waves, often with far less oxygen in areas where human runoff from land meets the Sea. We're trying to understand how uh, they might be sensitive to this increase in, in CO2 conditions. Paul McElhaney says about a quarter of the carbon dioxide we burn from fossil fuels gets sucked up by the ocean. That's created chemical changes. Oceans are about 30% more acidic since the Industrial Revolution in the early 1800s. When we add more CO2 from the burning of fossil fuels, that, that could push us over, over the edge into some really kind of uncharted territory where we've never been before. Early results in future water conditions show fewer crab larvae survive, which fish like salmon thrive on, and adult survival rates show declines too. Krill as well don't seem to do as well either. All big problems for the fish and whales that rely on them. But many of these studies are just beginning. We hope by helping people understand what the changes might be that it can influence what decisions people make today. And live here in Mukilteo, with so many unanswered questions for these researchers and for the scientific community in general, it's actually good news that this eyesore here on the waterfront is actually going to be going away. They're going to be demolishing it and putting up a brand new state-of-the-art facility coming in 2022. And in fact, this area, will, this new facility will have a, a place for the public to go in to learn more about the research that they're doing and learn more about what's going on above and below the waters of Puget Sound. In Mukilteo, I'm